g o o d lady and gentlemen, welcome back to l u m YouTube channel. In this video t e l e l e w I will show you how about using the clipping mask in Photoshop. For the highlight video clip, I will show you like this. You can see. I will prepare for the picture like this. I will show you like this. You can see is the circle of the t a t l o s t u p o r and the <gasps> polygon in a corner like this. And also for the last one in the circle at the specific of the place something like this. That is my preview in this video trailer. So before we are going to watch together, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the button to get the notification of my YouTube. I have been uploading my t u t o r i a l for the last test video, so let's be see together at the following. Okay, open the Photoshop. Okay, it did that block. We go to the new file. Okay, it did that block. We have to setting the paper size like this. In this case, I used 1280 and 770. It is the uh, preset detail up to you. Up to you about setting like this. Okay, just see. it did title. Example, example, test like this. Great. A few moments later. Okay. After that, we insert the picture into the template. Slide. Okay. The first, I will insert this place and. The second is the right field like this. Oh. So, click drag down to the template. Okay. In this case, we have to adjust and drag extension the photo like this. If we think that is good enough for the position of the photo, so we have to just click, click. okay, and right click, select r e s t o r i z i n g layer. Okay, the second, drag down the right f i l like this, put down. Okay, after that extension, extension the photo, l i k e and. Move down like this. Okay. If we think that is good enough, so click. Okay. And don't forget right click and select the rest the right layer. Rest the right layer like this. Okay. For the next. Okay. okay. Yeah. To make the ingredient, select this one and. At a layer mark, left click, go to the gradient. Hmm? After select the gradient, go to this one, select the basic and select this one. Okay. So for the neck, select and drag down to make the gradient like this. Okay. You can see two picture is overlap. Is so good enough. We just only put down. Okay. After we have setting the breakout already for the neck, we insert for the other image to my uh, like this. You see, for the neck, I will show you like this. How is this? Okay. So go to this image. t a l o s t u p a Drag down to the Photoshop. Okay, and extension like this. If it good enough, please okay, and then go to the e l i f t o o l and 
and lift tune and drag down and press shift like this and also press shift if we do not press shift like this you can see it's not fixed and other lesion so we have to fix shift to fix the circle like this if it good enough put down okay it seems to be like the circle in front of the image so we have to drag down in the back of the photo so so we cannot see the circle so we have to reduce the opacity in about 50 or 40 you can see to mark and move that the image in the center of the circle okay you can see okay if it's good enough not good enough so move left right top down and hit. Ah! if it's good enough so we put down after that we go to this image and right click and select create clipping marks okay you can see this cuts out of the circle already and then increasing the opacity until the 100 okay so and lift and the bottle so we have to make group select chip and select image and control G in keyboard so we have to adjust to insert the drop shadow or a stroke something like this we can to adjust like this so drop shadow okay you can see you can see the image is that we come to the drop shadow and it's also see clearly in this photo oh if we want to adjust or at the stroke no problem in this case i do not choose stroke we just only use the drop shadow like this because i would like to show you like this after that we just only click okay you can see it doesn't bigger small up to you about this okay i think good enough just click ok for the second i will use the pol polygon in a corner like this say so insert the photo but to say monument this drag down to the blackout and extension like this okay if it good enough so just click OK and then go to the tune. In this case, we have to select Polygon Tune and drag on to chip in keyboard. If we do not chip, you can see like this. If we chip, we can drag down is the parallel. Okay. Move to the center. In this case, we could not see the photo size, so we have to drag down the polygon into the back of the photo. You can see. But in this case, we have to reduce the opacity of the image in order to we can see in the photo size in the center of the polygon to adjust in the center something like this. Okay, we can adjust like this. It's up to you, your design something like this. Okay. If it is good enough, we have to go to for the neck and use the create clipping mask, right click, create clipping mask. Okay, you can see it is cut out of the each already. So increasing the opacity in the image or photo, one hundred percent. You can see it is clearly. After that, we have to select polygon tune and image and control G to the same last clip okay so we go to the at the legend mark and select drop shadow or other like this in this case we 
select drop shadow okay. you can see it is good enough you can adjust or any 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 menu like this you can you could you can decide like this in this case we just only use the how to use the clipping mask something like that go okay it's good enough okay and for the third like this sing tong tempo like this okay go to the image break down to the layer okay reduce the scale to the small okay if good enough so click ok and then go to the tool in this case select the end lift and drag down press shift in keyboard drag down it is until to the image yeah and drag to the center you know clearly you know cannot we could not see the photo so we have to drag down to the back okay in this case we have to increase sorry reduce the opacity like this oh sorry select this one not this one not this one not this one, not this one. sorry select this one and reduce the opacity okay so we can move right, right like this we adjust the tempo in the center of the circle if it's good enough so right and create clipping mat okay that's all so increasing the opacity until 100 okay i the finish select picture select and lift and control G to make a group and add a layer mark select drop shadow okay okay good enough I think I think so to so, extension bigger small or up to you about it okay so let's we see the same or not the same i think it's the same <laughs> see, you see very beautiful like this okay that's all in this video clip i have been curious a tutorial about how to use create and clipping mask in photoshop I hope that's all, all is my tutorial is just soon for you. Finally, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the button to get the notification to get my video I have been uploading in my YouTube channel. Okay, see you next clip. Bye bye.